Back now at 742 with the new controversy tied to medical marijuana. It is legal now in 17 states, and now some parents are using it to treat their very young children. Dr. Nancy Snyderman is NBC's chief medical editor. Nancy, good morning to you. Hey, Savannah, we've talked about medical marijuana for adults for a long time, but increasingly doctors, parents, and communities are getting behind this for children. It is a controversy that is not going to go away. This mother is making a drug deal. Buying marijuana. Is this the Roma oil for you today? Yes. But this sale is not for her. It's for her 10 year old son, and it's all perfectly legal. This pot is being grown specifically for Zakai Jackson in Colorado by a team of brothers who legally grow medical marijuana and process it for him into a special syrup for sale at their drugstore. Heather Jackson says this dope is saving her son's life. When Zakai was six months old, he was diagnosed with a form of epilepsy that causes life-threatening seizures. He was having 60 to 250 seizures a day. He would stop breathing. You know, all the air <laughs> leaves his lungs and he does not take another breath until that seizure is over. She says she tried 17 medications and treatments. Nothing worked. Desperate, Heather made a tough decision to try one last doctor's recommendation. We are Christians, we are conservative, and we're using medical marijuana. So that's kind of a big hump for people to get over. Heather says the results were immediate. I probably stared at him for a good three hours after his first dose, and then I fell asleep. I didn't feel any seizures after his very first dose. He has been seizure free for nine months. In 17 states, kids are able to get medical marijuana to treat everything from autism to cancer to seizures. Their lives are completely changed. They can, they can eat, they can put on weight, they can sleep, they can actually have a normal childhood. Dr. Getty says that the marijuana plant, also known as cannabis, can dial down nerve cell stimulation and stop seizures without getting kids stoned. And that's because medical marijuana can be bred with a low level of THC, the compound that gets you high. But critics include the American Academy of Pediatrics, which says that growers are jumping the gun because this remedy has not been clinically tested. It's not enough just to believe that something is going to be a good medication. You really need to test it. A couple of generations ago, people were recommending tobacco. Even physicians were recommending tobacco as a good method of relaxation or to relieve stress. It seems unbelievable now. Is your concern at this point that if someone has a medical problem in their child and they turn to marijuana, they're swapping one problem for another? I think that they are putting their child at risk of long-term consequences of marijuana use that we don't fully understand. Still, Heather says it's worth it because after a decade, she can finally get to know her son. We never really got to meet Zakai because he started having seizures so early. Zakai is incredibly funny and charming and loving. It's been really nice to see him, you know, come awake. No one is saying this is a first line drug of choice, but increasingly as children need problem and need the solution for problems the traditional medicine isn't treating, increasingly parents are turning to this avenue. And I think in, we're not going to see the FDA step in and have traditional clinical trials, but this is a controversy that's not going to go away. And because it's in 17 states, I do think this is a trend in this country. Thought provoking piece, Nancy. Thank you, you so bet, much. Sam.